Hey, what's up guys? We are here in the beautiful, luscious city of Bali, Indonesia, enjoying this wonderful villa with good friends and family. And I'm here with the legendary Bitcoin Rodney, who has <laughs> blessed us with his company here at our very first mastermind retreat. And we wanted to actually share a lot of insights that we've gotten to learn about Bitcoin Rodney, not just from online, but also spending some quality time here with him in person and he's really a genuine wonderful character that we're grateful to have in our lives grateful to not just look up to but also consider a very dear friend thank so, you very much i appreciate that yeah we wanted to actually uh share some of the insights that we we picked up about him and some of the curiosities that we have about the legendary and mythical bitcoin rodney mythical so, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny yeah, yeah. so bitcoin rodney why do they call you bitcoin rodney Saidi, that's a very 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 good question uh, I get asked that question quite often, and it's the same reason why you see individuals with Prada on, or Gucci, mm -hmm. or Louis Vuitton. People buy brands. You know, people like to buy things that they're familiar with. I mean, I can sell as Rodney, but I sell more as Bitcoin Rodney. Before I was Bitcoin Rodney, I was the Rodney the Global Ambassador. Before I was Rodney the Global Ambassador, I was the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Oh, so wow. I've always had a cliche that made things wow. more sellable. Branding. You know, branding is key. I mean, you don't you, say. You, if you see Pepsi, yeah. you know, Pepsi, you know Pepsi sells. Yeah. Or Coca Cola, you know. So mm -hmm. I figured, hey, Bitcoin Rodney, that will sell. Especially when they were things were just getting hot and heated up with the new era. Very, very trendy things. Bitcoin Rodney took off. It definitely has taken off because many people who have, <clears throat> don't even know what you look like, have heard of this Bitcoin yeah. Rodney. Brand, Pepsi. <laughs> who knows who, who ever seen the owner of Pepsi? Yeah. Coca Cola That's or MGM. <laughs> that is a really good point. Um, and, and, and as you were talking about you know, who you were before Bitcoin Rodney, I was curious because we all have a past. Is it true that you actually spent time before network marketing came into your life and transformed you into the legend that you are? Spent time? What are you talking about? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we can't talk about that. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. I, I did, uh, I think, five or six years uh, in, in the feds uh, for doing some things I should have been doing. Um, like most kids, you know, in that era, I did my time, paid my price, and not scared to talk about it because there are a lot of people out there, men and women, who've done things or have been through things in their past that now are striving to get better. And they may have an excuse saying, no, I was locked up, I can't do it now. I can tell you right now that I was locked up and I did it and I'm doing it, I'm still doing it. Yeah. So I want those out there to understand that it is possible to make an error, pay your price to society wow. and keep on moving in if you really want it bad enough. Well the key thing is bad enough. And from what I understand, and I know we all have mistakes that we might have made, because I've, I've gotten to know you as a very jolly, very grateful, very blessed every day. And you, you actually exude that energy whenever we're around you. And from what you said, based on what your initial sentence was, mm -hmm. you should have still been doing time right now. Basically, not, not basically. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I okay. should be. I, I would still be there if, um, you know, let's say let's thank God for that and let's thank great counsel, good thoughts, great people around me, associations. And I hear him today. Looking at you today, looking at you as a person that you are, we really get to appreciate that someone can go from whatever mistakes that they made, whatever baggage that they carry, into a, a transformation to become someone that they can only uh, imagine or fantasize about right now. Because in yourself, could you have imagined that you are now somebody that everyone is craving to get your attention, craving to get your uh, consultation and feedback and take a picture with you and come up to you and see you as this superstar, it really goes to show that one can go from wherever they are, rock bottom, from a cell, to the legend that is Bitcoin Rodney. Well, you know, let, let, me, let me comment on that. Uh, let me ask a, answer a question you asked, but you, you gave it your own answer. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give my rendition of that. When I was in there sitting in that cell, I saw this day. Oh. I mean, I read books, you know, I, I pictured myself becoming the person that I am today. That's... You know, I put, I put, I put myself in a position a long time before it actually wow. so was it all fruition. Manifested. I manifested this. I mean, I read books every day, like my life depended on it. Wow. I mean, I sat down on a hard, cold, you know, cell, you know, or bench and thought this is what I gotta do now mentally mm -hmm. and everything else is gonna act it out. So this was already done a long time ago. That is it's just coming into fruition yeah. at this point. And there's, and there's still things that I haven't said yet It's gonna even happen even more later. And there will be ups and there will be downs. There will be times to laugh, times to cry. But guess what? 
I'm enough man to go through with it. I have another question. Knowing all of this, knowing the fact that you did time in prison, I am sure that there are a lot of people that talk negative about you. How do you deal with that? Look at my skin. I've been people talking about me all my life. You know what I mean? I've been, you brown, you yellow, we even have issues all of our lives. Yeah. That doesn't mean because you know we have this you know complex situation that they're right and we're wrong. I mean that that doesn't mean anything. I mean um, there are plenty of times that we're going to do things and it's going to start off in a way that we're not out to harm anyone. However, if things change, things end up you know. Like for example, today it's going to be light, but later on it's going to turn dark. Yeah. We can't change that. Things happen in life. It's not us that are trying to hurt anyone, just the way things go. But we're not out here to, you know, purposely, hey, I want you to join this scam. Right. I mean, for example, there are now, I think, over 2,000 companies that were started globally, like Barnes & Noble's. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You know, Barnes & Noble's not a scam, but just the internet put them out of business. Blockbusters. Blockbusters. Yeah. You know, they're not a scam, but just somebody put them out of business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and this business that we're in, this online internet marketing business, which we almost started, you know, a few years ago, yeah. is filled with things that must make you have a tougher skin. Yeah, that's absolutely. If your skin is not tough, if you're not willing to make videos, Talk to people. Please go to church and play checker. This game is not for you. Yeah. This is not for the weak hearted. This is for those who are willing to withstand the issues of somebody calling you a scammer or calling you this or calling you that. You know, we're not bad people or we would not be here today. Well said. However, remember this. Do not ever, ever, ever let anyone, any person, any couple, any, any group of individuals dull your life because of their opinions when you know exactly in your head what you're doing. That's very interesting because there is such a stigma of people that are trying to chase after bigger goals because other people have limited themselves and as opposed to them thinking that you should go for it, their limiting beliefs and their limiting circumstances actually goes and puts you in, in that mood as well like like people that are your co-workers would not want you to try to figure out how to be an entrepreneur, how to be an internet marketer because they're going to see that you're actually doing something with your life and they aren't and they feel guilty, they feel bad and actually yeah and that's why they want to bash you they, they want to bring you down uh, misery loves company yeah i remember when i was working i also recruited those people around mm -hmm. me because i wanted to uplift them and i wanted to grow with them well you know what I, I, if you don't mind me saying so um these days you have to learn how to recruit up and not down mm -hmm. yeah your association is very very important not saying leave the little man down yeah. i'm saying that you need to be the leader so they can say, you know what? They recruit you, you don't recruit them. You know, you make sure that you're that person and then you, you recruit up, you recruit yeah. guys like me. Yeah, yeah. Or I recruit guys like you and yeah. everybody else who's around you. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. what's important. And remember this, if you don't mind me saying. You ever heard something called the NFL? Or, no or, or yeah, no, no, the real NFL. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah, no friends left to it, right? The NFL, um, the NBA, people like Michael Jordan and other big time names, they were on plenty of teams before they got a championship. Oh, yeah. yeah. They changed from team to team to team. Yeah. Certain guys in the NFL went from team to team to team until they got to yeah. the championship. They had to find the right place. And what we're looking for right now is the right place. There might be many programs they will join yeah. and we'll go through and they may not work out, but they can't say we ain't try but yeah. that well said well said <laughs> because you know people stop trying people will, will venture out into the world of entrepreneurship get their knees scraped they're like yeah. oh well, that's, that's, that's they fall off the bike and that's it yeah, they yeah, stop riding the bike they, they stop riding the bike yeah. i mean i fell off the bike many a days broke, many a month some bones broken some bones <laughs> um, some of my bones are still healing <laughs> I am curious, speaking of, um, you know, you have so much experience in the industry, which can be daunting to people that are just starting out. What would you recommend, what would you say to somebody that's watching this video right now that strives for a better life, strives to actually become free of the enslavement that they're part of, situations, circumstances, the day-to-day -day life that they want to escape and they want to tap into network marketing, want to connect with you, want to do what you've done for your life? That's a very, very good and hard question. I'm not sure that the world is ready for you, but uh, let me do the best that I can to, you know, give you my answer. Number one is you must be coachable. One time, uh, my mentor, a guy that I met a long time ago, and I was hanging around him all the time, and people say, oh, you're just kissing his ass, you know, he puts his pants on the same way you put your pants on. Yeah, but his pants cost $500. Oh. Mine does not. <laughs> you know, you, you might have to see, you know, different quality of pants. Yeah. Now, not the prices, what he went through yeah. in order to get there. Yeah. My first thought was get the most important book that I think that you can help grow your mind, which was The Greatest Selling in the World by Augmandino. And that was a book that takes about maybe a few hours to read, but takes 10 months to overstand. Oh, wow. It might be read a certain way to prove 
program the mind. Yeah. See, the mind is like a baby. It takes in a lot, more than you say, yeah, yeah. but it only does it in a certain scientific way. You know, you must train your mind on what to do, tell it what to do, or it would do anything if you don't tell it to do anything. I mean, the right thing. Yeah. It'll keep on going and going until you put it in perspective. Does well, that make sense? Yeah. But you must train your brain yeah. every single day to do the proper things in order to make it in this business. Self-education has been a huge part of your growth. I, mm -hmm. As you were saying, you were educating yourself, you were envisioning a better life from an environment that would suggest that you don't Sal, I sold life insurance door to door in the hood. Oh, in the hood? In the hood with the same suit on every day. I didn't even wash my suit because I didn't really have my own oh, apartment. Wow. And, but no one knew that. But they wow. see me, I was sharp, but I didn't sell that insurance. I didn't eat. Oh my gosh. So you, gotta you know, there's a saying that it goes, no man has endurance like the man who sells insurance. Oh wow. Because yeah, see, yeah. There, there's no paycheck every week. You, if you don't work, you don't eat. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, I mean, this is in the, the streets of Washington, D.C., in hoods that no average guy would walk in. Oh, wow. <laughs> At least not armed. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to ask you, uh, Rodney, I met you in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, you're here at the Mastermind event with us. You're going to Penang really soon, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I wanted to know what is the importance of attending all these events? There's a lot of great importance of attending these events. Let me go through some of the uh, reasons why. Number one, if it wasn't for network marketing, I don't know if I would have ever been flying to places like um, Thailand, Bangkok, Qatar, Dubai, Malaysia, Singapore. I can go on and Bali, Bali. Bali. Yeah. I can go on and on and on. The most important thing that you get to learn from these events, besides everybody knows this, let's be honest here, about they're very, very hype. A lot of hype in the events. However, you meet a lot of individuals networking. Those who are just like you or better than you, or you can look, look up to or even learn from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not including the cultures. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I've been to almost every state in America, and now I've been on almost every continent you know, of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, you know, I haven't been to Madagascar yet. I oh, been, yeah, that's, that's next that's on the list, fun. Madagascar. But I've been to a lot of places. Now, also, you get to meet the owners and see owners. And guess what? You know, they always can put on a facade, but you get to look into their eyes and see what you can see yourself as an individual yeah. and report what you saw at least back to your team. Be the eyes and ears. You be the eyes and ears. Yeah. And guess what? We all start out in a program with the most best intentions. Yeah. However, like I said before, you've heard of places like Barnes & Noble and what else? Uh, Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Several companies that started off great yeah. and because of time, things ended up, they crashed. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing will happen with business. Yeah. Our businesses, all our businesses. And we want to do is find the best that we can, ride the wave, yeah. until the wave is no more being able to be rideable. Yeah. Is that a real word? Rideable? Yeah. No. Yeah. Right. It just became Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. And so that's what we are. That, that's the importance of going to events to get your own information, to report back to your team, and so on and so as on. As well as networking. And networking. We're in the space of network yeah. marketing. Yeah, you exactly. You definitely put yourself out there. One thing I've learned is that we're in- Great the, content. Yeah, great content, which is yeah. another Absolutely. reason why we're here. Uh, relationship building is a- Relationship problem. building. I mean, because I've been in programs six years ago, yeah. where I was in, in I think, uh, Thailand and Bangkok and Malaysia. And, but I'm no longer in those businesses. Those, those businesses are no longer even here. But seven years later, people from Bangkok and Thailand and Malaysia are in this, my business now with me wow. because of way seven years ago. Because you, you valued that relationship. Exactly. Up with that relationship. And they watched me over the years yeah. online as I watched them. And now we're still in contact with each other. And now I'm doing multi, multi million dollar deals because of the events I went to over the years. Well, there's a lot that we covered here. Now, if there's people out there that want to actually get in touch with you, want to work with you, want to grow with you, want to be mentored by you, how can they get in contact with you? PayPal.com. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you guys go to BitcoinRodney.com, put your name and email address in there, you'll be on my list to find out what's hot, what's not, the latest thing, the hottest thing, uh, what I'm doing right now, what's going on. That's the first thing you gotta do is get on the list. BitcoinRodney.com. I'm at Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Sir Rodney Burton. And on Instagram, I am hashtag the real 
Bitcoin Rodney. Absolutely. So you have it here from the real Bitcoin Rodney, a legend in the game, someone that has shown what's possible because of this industry and the life that he gets to live now because of the, the effort that he's put in and by connecting with other people just as we're connecting with giants like him. We're extremely honored by his presence here and we've gotten to bond in a way that we could not if we did not attend live events like this. Yeah, matter of fact, before this event, I think you and I were in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in London together, yeah. another event, you know, and I mean, your first man person yeah. was in London yeah. we, a couple we, years ago. We met in different parts of the world, and, and that's the beauty of being entrepreneurs in a digital time. You get to connect vir virtually, yeah. and then all around the world. Uh, there you go. I'm extremely uh, honored by, by the friendship that now we have, and again, if you want to get in contact and start working with Bitcoin Rodney, you know where to go, bitcoinrodney.com. Appreciate you being here, and uh, let appreciate us it. all no, appreciate you guys. get to the Peace. top together. Later.